A sad update tonight. The 14-year-old hit by a car last week near McWilliams Park has died. This is Cole Suckle right here. Along with a friend, they were both hit by an elderly driver while riding their bikes. Cole didn't make it, and now we've learned 81-year-old Patricia Livingstone is facing several charges this afternoon, including reckless driving. But that still doesn't make things any easier for Cole's family and his friends. We talked to them today about the legacy Cole leaves behind. Well, this is the memorial for 14-year-old Cole Sukel. It continues to grow by the hours and days today at the hands of his classmates, who spent an hour here remembering. One by one, classmates of Cole Sukel lay down roses in his memory. Just the outpouring of love and support from, you know, from all our friends and family, but like this whole neighborhood. The roses in the color his parents say match him the best. Cole is sunshine. He makes everyone laugh. He's always the peacekeeper. Um, and he's doing that still. Cole died this past weekend after being hit on his bike by an elderly driver while riding along this road. Some, including his family, have big questions as to if she should have been driving at all. And while pushing aside so many of those questions, those who know him the best focus on the legacy of the kindness he leaves behind. Honestly, he could be friends with anyone. Doesn't matter what, if, what happened to you, what you look like, what you did, what. It really just didn't matter. He just saw the good in people. And memory of his giving nature. I'm his mom, right? I'm a little biased, so I think Cole is amazing and awesome. Um, but I think the thing that I really always stood in awe of, is even as his mom, was that he was always remembered to be generous. And of course parents are biased. That's perfectly okay. Just the amount of emotion pouring out from his classmates here today shows just how important Cole was to so many. Reporting in Denver, Mark Boyle, Denver 7.